Thank you, John. Uh, I think uh, in the, what I will say in the next three minutes will be something of a repetition of what you have just said. I prepared remarks that uh, included points that you've already mentioned, but that proves one good thing, that we are already in agreement and already know together and share the same vision about this office. Dr. John Chipman, Director General and Chief Executive. Professor Francois Heisberg, Chairman of the IASS. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored and delighted to inaugurate the IASS Middle East office here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Among so many good friends and colleagues, this has been a day long overdue. And I hope this will give my dear friend John a justification to visit Bahrain more often. Let me also seize the moment to thank Mark Allworthy, Managing Director of, the, of this office, who we are delighted to have here in Bahrain. Now let us ask ourselves, what does the establishment of the IASS in Bahrain, office in Bahrain, means for the kingdom and for the region? First and foremost, the office will be set the center for IISS scholarship in the region. Independent, high quality research and analysis, not to mention candid discussions with visiting dignitaries, as John has mentioned earlier. Thinkers, business leaders, and fellows will be of tremendous value to not only us at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in helping to inform our, th in to inform our thinking and future strategies on geopolitical and strategic issues, but also to many other ministries, government agencies, academic institutions, and the wider public. Second, the IISS office can add momentum to the crucial work undertaken in the Manama Dialogue, now a fundamental pillar of regional security diplomacy, and the Bahrain Global Forum, to be launched tomorrow evening and which will explore more closely the relationship between economics and security, a timely issue both for today and most certainly for the coming years. And third, I have very high hopes that the IASS will serve as an effective incubator for some of our bright young diplomats, our future ambassadors and decision makers through secondment opportunities, immersing themselves in particular areas of specialization and expertise that are instrumental as we embark on a new era of diplomacy in a new international environment for, for foreign policy that caters to an accelerating globalized world. Long gone are the days where foreign policy is c conducted primarily behind closed doors. I, for one, I'm an avid social media fan and have benefited tremendously from the nexus of information and insight that is accessible to any virtual user. I view this office as a more physically tangible platform, providing an important lens of information and expertise that I hope will widen further our vision and understanding of international issues. A lens I hope that will help us see a more nuanced views of ourselves, our region, and the world at large. Ultimately, I hope, that, I hope the work of the office can help us understand more deeply how best to address the numerous challenges we face, so that we can ultimately bring about peace, security, stability, and prosperity to the whole region while safeguarding the key tenets of our society and values an open market economy, an open society that ensures economic and social development, the importance of democracy, the rule of law, and civic rights and freedoms. I believe that striking this balance is the key objective of any government. And benefiting from the insight, analysis, and expertise of the IASS will be a vital part of this process in the years ahead. So I want to underline my appreciation for the establishment of the IASS office here in Bahrain. 
and to express my thanks to all those who both in the IASS and in Bahrain who have worked so hard to make this day a reality. The reward for these efforts is not just in today's ceremony, but also in the long-term enduring benefit to both sides of having this center of excellence in the heart of the Gulf. I will end on this note. Let me once again say how pleased I am to be here today on this historic day. It is indeed fitting that this office is in Bahrain, a country which prides itself on our deep traditions of diversity, international commitment, tolerance, innovation, and cooperation, and cooperation values and tradition that make us the perfect fit for an IISS regional office. So I want to thank you all for coming today from all over the world and very much look forward to meeting and working with the senior directors and trustees of the IASS, both today and part of our long-term ongoing relationship. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure in declaring the IASS Middle East office in the Kingdom of Bahrain officially open. This is like cutting the ribbon. Thank you very much.